that's pretty much it for face makeup today i kind of want to do like a i don't know like a soft glam inspired look but like i want a pop of color so i'm gonna have to see like what <gasps> oh excuse me eyeshadow palettes i have that i can really do that with i'm trying not to use like the same colors or the same eyeshadow palettes all the time because we don't want to always do our makeup the exact same every day and that is how it should be you know Ooh. but today's look is really not To, like impress anybody like i'm literally just going to the store but at least someone will be able to appreciate my makeup you know that's better than just being at home also i want to make some like tiktoks today i keep putting off making videos because i just honestly forget the story of my life but today's palette, I think I'm gonna try the Roxy. Cause it just has some really fun, bright colors up in here. You know, and that's always necessary. Also, we're gonna bake our face. Don't forget, baking is very important for any makeup look. Don't ever let someone tell you it is not. Especially if you want that like. Well, that's the thing. I think I want to make a video doing. Um, the thing is, I just have so many video ideas that I want to do. And I like just never know which one. I need to get a little bit more organized with the videos that i'm making um have like a schedule for like what days i'm going to be filming those just so i can get oh no i dropped my powder just so i can get it together you know because if i want to do this full time i have to put the time energy and effort into it which is what i'm trying to do I have a new camera, so I'm excited about that. I don't know, there's so many nice colors in here. Right now I'm drawn to this color, Twilight. Maybe because I'm wearing blue. I wasn't planning on wearing blue all day today, but I guess we're gonna have a blue inspired makeup look today. Just because why not anyways i forgot what else i was talking about um i've been wanting to try like different styles of makeup so you know there's like i don't even know how to describe it I feel like euphoria type makeup was really popular for a while and now it's like that but like somewhat simpler you know is what's really popular right now and less full glam and more like natural like minimal you guys understand what I'm trying to say like I feel like that's like the style that's popular i guess for like gen z their generation and i'm not necessarily trying to like do everything to be like gen z that's the other thing like i want to be like my own person and not feel like i have to do something or look a certain way just because everyone else is doing it unless it's something i like actually want to try 
I feel like it's just important for people to be unique and be themselves. Like, I'd rather be a trendsetter than a trend follower, if I'm being honest. <sighs> and that's kind of like where my dilemma comes in with my content creation. It's like, do I just do what everyone else is doing because they're getting views doing what everyone else is doing? Or do I just do my own thing and stick to what I like, what I'm good at, and just be like my own person? That's what I prefer doing, but it just seems like that type of work is not helping me get any new followers <laughs> so it sucks but at the same time you gotta be yourself and i feel like that is what is gonna pay off in the long run people like originality from their content creators and they want to see someone who's unique and well that's what i would hope at least I haven't necessarily found that to be true personally, but I hope that just continuing to be myself is going to pay off in the long run. So that is what I try to do. This is probably like the quickest I've ever done my makeup. Maybe because I'm not like really trying too hard to make it like perfect i just want it to be there you know sometimes i just like doing my makeup just for the fun of it it's fun to put on a face it's fun to try some new colors it's not always about like having to look um super nice and great and put together at least not for me personally that's not like my motivation for doing my makeup if that is yours there's nothing wrong with that because again i don't wear makeup most of the time when i do wear it i want it to be because i really want to for fun for the vibes you know I feel like this look is actually really simple but really pretty. I just went with like blues and purples today because I don't know. I just felt like it. There really is no rhyme or reason to how I do my makeup. It's always just this is what I felt like doing and I did it. I just love makeup. I love the colors. I love the creativity behind it and I don't know I'm never gonna be like a James Charles or Jeffree Star and that's not my goal with makeup I enjoy just I just enjoy using makeup honestly that's really it it just makes me feel like I'm doing something for myself kind of like therapeutic in a sense and that's enough for me and I'm happy with it Ooh, I guess I should do some like bottom mascara I honestly don't do that much um when I do my makeup I rarely wear lashes I went through like a phase when I was in cosmetology school and I like wore lashes like every single day I guess I did it to fit in because all of those girls were always wearing lashes and I just felt left out not wearing them so I started to wear them every single day but then the only issue is that is if you are always wearing lashes when you stop wearing them you're going to feel naked and you're gonna feel like you're not put together when you don't have on fake lashes because they make your look look more glamorous and more bold and so i started 
Y'all, my whole makeup drawer just fell. Oh my goodness. All right, the show must go on. I will have to fix that later. Literally, that was so sad. Anyways, I was just trying to say like, I don't want to feel like if I'm not wearing lashes, I don't look good. So I just stopped wearing them for a while and now I'm like back to, I wear them if I feel like it or for like a special occasion or special event where it's like necessary, I guess you can say. So yeah, that's kind of my stance on it. Ooh, we have a this Betsy Johnson highlighter palette. So we're gonna use this today. Excuse me. But my beauty channel, I've honestly been slacking on it. And I don't know if it's just like I just really haven't cared to um do my makeup that often. When I do my makeup, I try to like keep it simple and sweet and cute and I don't know. I feel like makeup nowadays is just so, like, if it doesn't look a certain way, people are like, ew. And that's just not something I want to do. So, yeah. This is, like, my favorite liner. It's Mahogany by NYX such a pretty color I feel like a Bratz doll like I wasn't trying or going for like a Bratz dollish look but that's what we got let's try something new this is the Ulta lipstick ball Oops, collection there's five different colors I'm gonna go with this one I guess let's see it's like a brownish color oh it's like mauve -y. and when I was like a little girl I was always obsessed with makeup I always was asking my mom for like a makeup kit and one year for Christmas my aunt had bought me one of those like super big like kitty little makeup cases and it came in this cute adorable little suitcase that had like 10 lip glosses in it and like i used to carry that entire kit around with me like i just felt so bomb with it and honestly i'm 25 and i feel like nothing's changed like i've always just been into makeup and trying to look cute so yeah here's my makeup look i kind of like it now this is the realness instagrammers don't show you of what your skin is gonna still look like underneath all of your makeup in real life because i don't really do a lot of filters now if i'd use like a snapchat filter obviously that's gonna or instagram filter that's gonna smooth out my skin to make my makeup look more flawless but i always show you guys like this is what your makeup is gonna look like on your natural face with no filter you can still see my texture man i got a hairy face i got sideburns you can still see like all of my quote unquote imperfections underneath and that's okay. Like be confident no matter what. And now I'm going to do a Snapchat video so you guys can see the difference. Alright so now I just put on a Snapchat filter and my skin suddenly looks smooth and most of that texture I'm like you can still see some of like my dark spots but like filters are pretty much making people feel like their makeup has to always look like this and that's just not how your makeup's gonna look on camera for real so that's just something i feel like more people need to realize like 
no matter how much makeup you put on your imperfections are going to still be there makeup isn't about hiding your imperfections you should just be about embracing them and being fun and creative and yeah that's all i really have to say i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a quick little get ready with me and yeah